All right, adventure filmmaker Andrew Muse set out to build the ultimate expedition vehicle. With an F-550 service truck as a base, Andrew put his head down and got to work making his own mega camper, similar to an earth roamer. He busted ass and built the project in an impressive 400 and something days, a Herculean feat for a hustling dude bro. We were happy to jump in and give him a hand in laying out the electrical systems. We took a random nest of wires, and set Chance loose on organizing everything and integrating it into a complete system that's fully functional. Here is Chance showing us the components that went into the electronics behind Andrew Muse's mega expedition build. <laughs> so what do we got, Chance? Uh, we got Lion Lithium Battery Bank. This is our largest lithium bank we've ever installed. Gives you your battery voltage there. Right here is our remote switch for our inverter. Whoa, guy. Let's back up and talk about that battery bank. These are four 105 amp hour Lion Safari batteries, packing a total of 420 amp hours. That's enough power stores to run a volcano vaporizer for over 40 hours straight. To celebrate this awesomeness, we're offering a discount on all Lion Energy products on our site. Head on over to repairdice.co forward slash shop to learn more. In here, progressive dynamics, our DC loads. Um, this is all of our shore power loads here for 110. And then this panel here is our inverter panel. Runs on both shore power or the inverter when it's powered on. And that's on isolated by a transfer relay. We got the Red Arc DC to DC charger. Um, that's also a solar charger as well. How many panels are up top? We got three 170s. I believe they're Xanth. So 170 watts up top? Uh, times three. Back to the Red Arc, that charges while the engine's running um, and it steps up the voltage from the starting batteries uh, up to whatever the lithium battery bank requires and it prioritizes solar as well so when solar is coming in it uses all the solar it can and then it supplements with the running engine and that puts about 40 amps into the bank and then we have a 3000 watt inverter mounted on the wall here pretty much power whatever you could imagine you could cook off of this thing if you wanted George Foreman coffee small heaters oh. we're plugged into shore power and the inverters on and that's isolated via the transfer relay so we only have the inverters powering these loads. It doesn't need to if I turn it off. Uh, the transfer relay will click over and we'll be on shore power. Yeah. It's so easy to install, like clip it on there and like the programming, you just crimp wires together. Yeah. You either send your signal wire to ground, to positive, or to another wire. And it tells it to go to lead acid, AGM, yeah. lithium. It's a really compact unit too. Oh, yeah, it's tiny. I mean, yeah. size comparison. One chance hand. One chance hand. <laughs> Versus having three different, you know, units. Yeah. The solar. solar charge controller, DC. Yeah, replaces two items with one. Cool. Sweet system. And you can mount it in the engine bay, which is pretty legit. Follow this do-it-yourself expedition vehicles creation over at Andrew Muse's channel and be humbled by the physical, psychological, and financial drain an ambitious build like this will cause. Hats off to Andrew for pursuing the dream and seeing it through. We can't wait to see where he takes this beast and the guaranteed adventures to come.